Hey, it's Miss Mocha. Welcome back to my spiritual therapy sessions. Tonight, I am diving into Psalms. So I think I'm going to study Psalms. It has so many chapters. So I'll, I guess I'll bounce around and pick out the ones that God tells me to um, put on here for y'all and we can study them together. I read, well, I read the whole Bible, but I haven't actually really studied these chapters. So I guess I'll start with Psalms um, chapter 23. This is a popular one that we all know. Verses 1 through 6 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever." So I just really think that's important because it tells us how good God is and how he has our backs no matter what. He's our shepherd. We don't have to want for anything. Um, you know, lying down in green pastures, to me, that just means that we can breeze through life, you know, and... We can be still, we can be um, present in the Lord. We don't have to worry about the, you know, pressures of the world and how they get to us. We let God handle that. He restores our soul and he leads us to righteousness, you know. And so even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death or we walk through the world where there's all kinds of evil, we shouldn't fear it because God is with us and he's going to use his rod and his staff to, um, you know, protect us, guide us, lead us, um, fight off the evil and the harm for us. And so what he'll do is he'll prepare a table in the presence of our enemies so that he'll he'll um, protect us from our enemies and he will let our enemies see us getting blessed and still living and still um, pushing through even though our enemies try to harm us type of deal. And... Um, of course, it says it anoints, thou anoints my head with oil and my cup runneth over. So it just means that he's anointed us. He's covered us with his graces. Um, he's blessed us. He gives us things. He keeps us safe. He um, keeps, you know, on loving us and making sure that we are good, safe, protected, healthy, wealthy, all that. Uh, and goodness and mercy follows us, you know, wherever we go, all of our life, as long as we are dwelling in his house. So that's what I get from it. It's protection. It's um, restoration. It's giving us peace, love. It's letting us know we don't need to fear, even though we're living in a world full of, you know, evil and death and all kinds of chaos. Um it lets us know God has our back. He is going to be with us. Whatever our enemies try to do, he's going to rise us above all that. And so this this chapter is good because it lets us know how, how God rocks with us. So I just wanted to share that with you guys tonight. Nothing um, all too long. So thanks for listening.